Hello and thanks for logging on to this week's Elon Local News Online Exclusive. I'm Justin Beagle. And I'm Evan Sassman. Here are the stories we have for you this Tuesday, September 29th. Today marks the fifth consecutive day of rainfall here in North Carolina, and the showers continue to bring some much-needed relief to the area. Over the weekend, the triad accumulated nearly three and a half inches of rain, according to a U.S. Geological Survey. These showers are helping North Carolina, which is currently facing a drought. Last Thursday, the North Carolina Drought Management Advisory Council showed that two-thirds of the Tar Heel State is in a state of dry and moderately dry conditions. Now, rain is expected to stay in the forecast for the rest of the week, but the rain clouds are expected to leave by Sunday. But don't put the umbrella away just yet. On Tuesday, Tropical Storm Joaquin is expected to make its way through North Carolina and much of the Mid-Atlantic, bringing more rain. Last Wednesday was the first day of fall, and that means more than just boots and pumpkin spice lattes. For some, it can mean the flu season. This morning, students received an email from Dean of Student Health and Wellness, Janelyn Patterson, highlighting the importance of getting the flu shot. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, between 5 and 20 percent of Americans will contract the virus, and 200,000 people are hospitalized from the flu each year. But this number can be decreased with the flu shot. While the shot won't eliminate your chances of getting the flu, it will decrease the likelihood of you catching that nasty virus. The Office of Student Health has partnered with Midtown Pharmacy to offer flu shots to Elon students. These shots will be administered on Thursday, October 1st, from 4 to 7 p.m. in the Mosley Center lobby, Saturday, October 3rd, from 1 to 5 p.m. in Global Commons, Wednesday, October 7th, from 2 to 6 p.m. in Francis Center lobby, and Monday, November 2nd, from 4 to 8 p.m. in Belk 102. Students who receive a flu shot from the university will be entered in a drawing for a gift card. This week is Lead Strong Week, which is six days dedicated to honoring leadership on Elon's campus. And the theme this year is Spotlighting Change at Elon. The Center for Leadership is hosting events all week to inspire students to become better leaders. There have already been several activities and more will be held throughout the week. On Wednesday, head to McKinnon Hall at 1215 for maximizing your leadership events. Thursday at Belk Pavilion 208 is the Presidents at Elon event, where you will learn about presidents of different organizations on campus. Friday, there will be a table in Mosley with more information on how you can make a change from Elon from 12 to 3 p.m. Lastly, on Saturday is the Summit for Change in McKinnon Hall from 1 to 6 p.m. These events will provide students with an opportunity to identify challenges on Elon's campus. In addition to Lead Strong Week, there are many more events happening around campus these next few days. Tomorrow night is Getting Out of This Place with Piper Kerman, the author of the book and Netflix original series, Orange is the New Black. The event has sold out of tickets, but for those coming, it starts at 7.30 p.m. in McCrary Theater. All day Thursday, one of the top accounting firms in the world, Ernst & Young, will be holding on-campus employer interviews in Mosley 140. Also on Thursday's Eid al Adha celebration held in Newman Lumen at 6.30 p.m. On Friday night, Vital Signs will be performing in Arazu Coffee Shop at 8.30 p.m. And lastly, Saturday, movie, Saturday night is Movie Night Madness. Head to Global Commons to watch Mean Girls at 8 p.m. and the Minions movie at 10 p.m. Nationwide political survey or Gallup recently released a poll really revealing whether or not recent college graduates thought their university experience was worth the cost. According to the survey, only 38% of college students who graduated between 2006 and 2015 strongly agreed college was worth the cost. 13% of graduates strongly agreed their education from a private university like Elon was not worth the cost. Gallup also says outstanding student loan debt has grown to more than $1 trillion, so be sure to make the most out of your college experience. Sophomore Barong Foop returned from the Clinton Global Initiative in New York City on Monday. At this event, global leaders, policymakers, and student representatives are encouraged to address global issues. Fook was one of several students from around the world invited to speak at the annual conference. Fook, a native of Cambodia, spoke about the human rights struggles facing her home nation. She used the opportunity to advocate for Cambodian education and specifically for the establishment of tuition-free schools. She hopes to one day return to Cambodia to continue to promote human rights and education. We still don't know if there are aliens on Mars, but we do know that there is liquid water on the planet. It's been suspected for years, and NASA finally confirmed yesterday that water does in fact flow on Mars in the spring and summer. This is discovered through images taken by an orbiter on Mars. However, NASA says water is, is much saltier here than on Earth in order to prevent it from freezing.
That's all we have for you today, but we'll be right back here in Studio A on Thursday at 9.50 a.m. for ELN Morning. In the meantime, all the news you need to know is on ElonLocalNews.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at ElonLocalNews. Have a great week, Elon.